everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. As some of you may know, I am fortunate enough to host my very own fishing TV show, Hooked. As a result, I am lucky enough to have the support from Smokercraft, Yamaha, and the amazing people here at Don Hyde Marine. For the TV show, thanks to Smokercraft and Don Hyde Marine, I get to borrow and fish out of a Smokercraft 188 Adventurer DC. Today is pickup day, so let's go find Jeff and check out this boat. Well guys, it is actually a week later uh, when we went to go inside and pick up the boat. Unfortunately, Jeff was tied up, so we were not able to go through the features of the boat together on camera. So, I'm out here today. I thought we'd get out on the water, go through a couple quick new features uh, on this boat, and then maybe sneak in some fishing. So, let's get to it. So last year we ran the 188 DC for the summer and filming season and this year we are running the 188 Pro Adventure DC. There are a few adjustments, a few differences and we are going to go through those features right now. So this back deck right here last year was pop-up seats. But with this new Pro Adventure we have a bigger deck bigger back deck with whole new storage areas. First off, we have this massive live well. It goes all the way to this storage compartment and it can not only fit bass, but pike and salmon and giant sized fish. And we've got this huge storage compartment that can fit all different kinds of tackle. I will eventually have this filled up with some tackles so we can make use of all the storage in the boat. This year we upgraded to a 175 Yamaha SHO, so the boat is gonna go faster and we also got a Minn Kota Raptor which I am very excited to put to use this summer. So the console is pretty much the same. We've got uh, Helix 8, uh, Helix 7 here with all my maps and uh, side imaging and down imaging. Here are all my toggles for my power sources and controls. And we've also got a radio, which I am going to be using a lot this summer. Finally, to end it all off, we have the front. Once again, we've got an extra small live well right here. Then we got these big, huge storage compartments as well as a smaller storage compartment for all of my tackle, uh, life jackets, and safety gear. And finally, last but certainly not least, we've got this massive rod locker. I got the chance to use a rod locker like this last year and absolutely loved it. But now I think it's time to take the rods out do some fishing. And if you guys would like to learn more in depth about the features on this boat, check out my review from the winter on the 188 DC. The link will be in the description down below. Right now, we are at a spot where I could catch largemouth, smallmouth, or pike two kilometers offshore. There is this giant weed patch in a secluded sandy 
flat. 20 feet of water on one side of us, six feet of water on the other side of us. I got him, I got him. I think it's a rock bass that's just holding on to the tail. Yep, it was. And it just held on to the tail until it got to there. This baby first, got a swim jig, bunker hunt swim jig, with a little chunk of an exosome. Muscle back growl. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, baby! First fish in the new boat, little larger on the swim jig. Hopefully we can upgrade him. There he goes. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh my goodness, I didn't even feel him hit. I thought he was a weebs. Little gator on the swim jig. Surprised he did not tear right through my braid. Come here, slime rocket. I'm okay with the little gator. There we go, we got the little gator. Second fish of the day is landed and is the first official pike caught in this boat. Cute little gator. There he goes. Let's catch his friend, the big bass. Fish on. Oh, this feels like a better one. This feels like a better one. Woo, yeah, this is a better one. It's a better one than the last one. That is for sure. Oh my gosh. Come here, buddy. Where are you? Where are you located? He's stuck. He's gone. No! Dang it! I ran over the fish. Oh, man, that was a good fish, too. <laughs> that makes me sad. If you leave me to my own device, I never have to compromise. Well guys, unfortunately we're going to have to cut this video short. As you can see in the background there is a huge thunderstorm coming. We only caught a couple little fish. I promise you we will catch some more and some big ones out of this boat soon. We got some ideas and new things coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button and if you'd like to see more content like this, please click the big red subscribe button. And of course, always remember to take a kid fishing. We will see you next time when it's not scary out.